So I'm O3 on the pilot. The driver side door lock actuator is not working. So I can lock it. When I try to unlock it, it won't work. There's a key. So I will place the actuator today on the driver side door. First thing first, I need to remove the battery. Negative cable. Yep, it's a 10 millimeter nut. Just put us put it to the side, make sure it's not touching any metal. And I think that should be good. So I'm gonna remove this cover, have a like a, have a screw behind it. And I have one screw underneath the handle, like right here. It's a uh, Phillips. I need a small pick. And then come to here. And then pry it out. And then I gotta have two screws here. So I bought those like a trimming tool, removing tool from Hopper Free. It's pretty handy. So it's jam underneath and then keep applying up. So, so apply a little bit more in the front. And now it seems more loose than before. Let's see what underneath here. So here's this size loose except the wire harness. Something here. I need to loose it up. Yeah, I used to be moving tool like this end, hook it back, and I got pull, pull up a little bit, and now it's loose. So. Now, okay, it's good, it's coming out. So now I can disconnect this harness and this one and this one. So here's the three connector attached. This is like a window control panel. Now it's off. So the blue one is on the back of this panel. And then the brown one is this one right here. And here's the, the white connector. And then after we move the door, the window switch, I have uh, one screw here. I hope that's one, that's the only one, but we'll see. So here's the door handle. And then I figure out like a, this, this part right here, it's like a, have a almost like, act like a hook behind it. So it was light. Okay, it was like this. And then tilt this forward and then pull it up a little bit and then slides it out. So now it's loose. So now I need to disconnect this connector. So now the actuator is mounted behind this bracket. So it's three, three screws. So in the past, I just used like a number two Phillips head, but always strip it. So at the end, I need to drill it out. So I find online this brand right here. And then this is the part number. It fit really well. It's just like a snug fit. So basically like uh, I can just lean my body weight and then twist it. Yeah, it's just like pop loose. And also this has like an impact feature. So if you cannot like twist, turn it by hand, you can like a, use it as an impact screwdriver, use a hammer, hammer it out and do like a little bit twisting motion. So I loose up all this screw and remove one screw, two screw, three uh, high and behind the window switch, and then one here underneath the, the handle. So after that, I believe that's all the screw. 
so I start from this end. So he's like a let's see. Let's see this corner. So I find it. I just I just find a place again. Like I jam my finger behind it, like somewhere here, and then just like. And then just keep open it. And now the whole panel is loose. I need to remove this place as well. It's like uh, this piece is like it will on the way when I remove this upper in in uh, door panel. So same thing. I use this hook, sneak underneath, and then keep plying it. And just come kind of like this. Is it helping by these two clips? Like here and here. So now I should be able to remove. Yeah. Hang on. Yep. Now I need to somehow fish this back in. Ah, that might be an good idea. It's somehow it's working. All right. So the panel's off. So now I need to disconnect a bunch of wires. So probably go have connected here. And then I believe and try to loosen up some something here. And after that the panel should come out. So I need to peel off this weather protective and then I need to remove this 10 millimeter bolt and then this uh, screw and after that the actuator is right here and then I have to loose up those and I need to loose up the bolt I loose up before remove it and then see what else I need to remove next and I need to push this plastic clips back just squish both sides and it should go in. So now the whole actuator is like losing. And now I need to disconnect this blue uh, plastic retainer and remove those metal rod. And after that, disconnect the connector and then the whole unit. Come out, and then I can replace the actual actuator. I use a small screwdriver to push this blue piece. Oh. Yep, now it's like come out, it's loose. So now I can remove this rod. Yep, just push out and then it's loose. Yep. Here's one more, one more metal rod that we move, and here's like the retainer clips. So push up. Now it becomes really tough to see how to yank the whole. So I try and I try to like push to the right. So I find out I use this like a, a body panel tool. That one like a from Ampro. I think it's the old name from like a Advanced Auto. So here's the rod. I just jam between, push it up, and then pry this way. And it's loose. All right, so I have one more rod behind it. It's right here. 
this one right here. But like, uh, it, that was really hard to get because it's behind this connector. So now I try to, I try to replace it when the unit is still in the, inside the door. So I remove this, this screw and then squeeze this plastic clips. Uh, this metal bracket should come out and then I can remove the actuator right here, the black actuator, the black uh, plastic housing. And after that, I can replace, use the replacement part. So I remove the brackets, but still low luck because they have a, they have a screw somewhere. So uh, where the rod? Yeah, this is the rod I'm talking about. So basically, I just jam my finger here and then keep pulling to me, and it seems that like it works. It's like a, you have to like a notch. So when I put it in, I put a part of put some like anti seat or like a, some silicone silicone bay lubricant. Hope easy to push in. So when you remove the actuator, basically no fastener. It just have a clip right here, and then have a clip right here. So basically, I use a screwdriver to slide under and then push up a little bit on one side, and then do it again. Here's the replacement part I used. It pretty much look identical to the old part. And then this is like a ultra power. Here's the part number. So now basically I just need to reverse the process and then put everything back together. I put the battery negative terminal to the battery, so I just want to test it out, make sure like the new part is working before I put everything back together. So it is working. The reason I got the locks not working, this door is not closed. So probably like uh, I put it back, put everything back together and try again. Yeah, most of my weather strip, like the glue is like hardened, so it's become really brittle and like no, not sticky at all. You can see that I can peel off by hand. So I remove as much as I can by hand, and then like I clean the surface with a little bit of brick cleaner, and then like I I'll apply this one, a weather strip adhesive. Yeah, follow the instruction on the back of the of this like adhesive. Uh, and then it will like uh, stick it back to the, to the door panel. So I put the panel back on. Now you just need to like connect all the connector to the door handle. You connect all this connector back to the, the window switch at the driver side. And then don't forget to put the screw back on, back in. Here's one, and another one will be here, and then two here. For the door switch, it have a hook here, so it should slide this in first before you press it back in. Yep, and that should have like a, the seam should be really small. So, put everything back together. Let's try it. It's locked. Unlock. It is working. So, let's try it manually. So, it's locked. Working. And unlock. It is working. Let's check inside. Make sure I can open the door from inside. Yep, it is working. Make sure if I use this lock here, 
make sure it's working. Yep, it is locked. And then unlock. Same thing on that one. Okay, everything seems working now. So let me put my last piece back on. And after that, the actuator's fixed on the driver's side door. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up or maybe think about subscribe. Yeah, it can help the channel a lot. Alright, so see you on the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.